so welcome to this new lecture the topic for this lecture is low tire pressure warning system now in automotive we are utilizing the tires wheel tires so in that tire pressure is very important if you observe this particular picture so here in the car driver is driving his car but he is not knowing what is the tire pressure pressure of the tire air pressure inside this tire but why it is necessary to know this particular tire pressure especially for this particular driver so that indicates that what is the importance of tire pressure so if you go in detail tire defects are according to statistical data uh, it is a common cause of accident and breakdown in the majority of cases low tire pressure is reason for failure as a result of tire damage especially low tire pressure is responsible for near about 85% of blows so this is very very huge number 85% of blows are due to low tire pressure so it is very important to know the condition of the air pressure inside the tire although the correct tire pressure is important for driving safety durability of the tires and fuel consumption tire pressure is one of the few variables which to date has not been subject of continuous monitoring in engine in vehicle other different systems we are taking care of real time data but till this date many vehicles are not giving the thrust on the continuous monitoring of tire pressure which is important because if you see the number of uh, that is uh, breakdowns due to this particularly low tire pressure the driver has no information on momentary air pressure when he is traveling now here another picture shows the tire pressure monitoring now uh, that is the latest vehicles uh, coming vehicles coming cars are fitted with the this particularly tpms tpms stands for tire pressure monitoring system wherein in this we are providing the display in front of the driver in the driver's cabin that is in the instrumentation panel or on the dashboard unit you might have seen such type of this symbol we shows that this symbols gives the information of tire pressure that it will when it will blink this indicates that you need to check that tire pressure so here such type of the information is required to be given to the driver so that driver will be alerted and he will be in position to take uh, uh, that is appropriate action so as to avoid the further failure the advancement in the miniaturization of electronics as well as increase in the capacity of the batteries made it possible to develop dynamic tire pressure monitoring system there are two types of the tire monitoring system dynamic and static static when your vehicle is not moving but when your vehicle is moving when you are monitoring that particularly air pressure inside the tire that particular we are calling it as a dynamic tire pressure the tire pressure check system continuously monitor the tire pressure while traveling and the vehicle is stationary the system assists the driver in two ways firstly it monitors the set tire pressure and secondly it alerts the driver to loss of pressure by issuing warning via the instrument cluster so why why is uh, or by giving this particularly another different types of the alerts by messages by blinking a uh, that particular monitoring system will make the driver alert so that driver can take appropriate action now if you see here this is the tire pressure check system wherein you are observing the different systems so here you are observing this particularly the control unit so data transfer from the wheel sensor to the control unit is effected by the means of radio frequency transmission so this is the control unit and this control unit the data is being transferred with the help of this particular radio frequency rf so this is the actual tire pressure sensor which we are mounting on this wheel rim 
and once wheel rim rotates this rotary motion that is the uh, particularly where we are mounting this particularly the pressure inside that particular tire is sensed by this particularly tire's pressure sensor and that data is given to this particularly uh, particular component here through this radio frequency information exchange between peripheral components in vehicle takes place via the can bus a measuring and transmitter unit mounted on the tire wall sends a radio signal to regular time interval to the antenna so this is actually the antenna so this antenna receives the information uh, from this tire pressure sensor and once it receives it will supply this particular information to this control unit now this particularly uh, signal is then relayed to the control unit for a tire pressure monitoring then control unit of this tire pressure monitoring evaluates the pressure change and send the corresponding system status messages to the instrument cluster that may be blinking of that particular uh, message on this instrument cluster these messages are indicated in drivers on the display of driver information system or we can call it as a instrumentation panel or we can call it as a dashboard unit now this tire pressure check system offers various advantage so first advantage because of this blowing low tire pressure warnings we can uh, take the appropriate action and we can say that is more safety can be achieved through this particular low tire pressure early warnings then second it is more convenience through the elimination of regular tire pressure because it is not necessary to uh, check regularly the tire pressure the tire pressure needs only be corrected when it is indicated through this particular warnings then because of this tire pressure monitoring system the service life of tire will gets increase that we are getting the longer service life a pressure at dissipate of 0.3 bar can reduce the service life by tires up to 25% and again one of the very important as far as the running cost of the vehicle is considered we can get the lower fuel consumption if we are running your vehicle with correct tire pressure so these are the advantages so in the tire pressure monitoring system there are different situations so first situation is slow loss of tire slow loss of pressure so slow loss of pressure where is uh, slow loss of pressure is indicated to the driver at an early stage so the driver can check the tires or correct the tire pressure then another situation is sudden loss of pressure if a sudden loss of pressure occurs just like as a blots or flat tires while traveling the driver is alerted immediately and another one flat tire when the vehicle is stationary the system indicates flat tire when the vehicle is stationary to driver directly after returning of the ignition when driver is going for starting the engine or vehicle at that time when he is inserting the ignition key on immediately if the tires are flat one it will be indicated on the dashboard unit so we already seen that it is 85% of blots are due to the slow loss of pressure and this is triggered by overheating as a result of flexing work when driving at a very high speed with insufficient air the driver will normally notice this anyway by the way of vehicle seats that is a vehicle reacts especially uh, when you are driving the vehicle the driver will come to know if the pressure gets uh, uh, tremendously reduced but that particular indication uh, driver may not be in position to understand and that's why such type of the warning the devices are required in vehicle with an emergency running system there is a danger of driver not noticing a flat tire immediately because the system runs so smoothly in this case the tire pressure check system is the only safe way of alerting the driver to the safety risk now wheels with an emerging running system allow one to continue driving without tire pressure however cornery stability is impaired therefore driving safety is also compromised now furthermore speed and distance restrictions must be observed in order to preserve the wheels emergency running characteristics and to protect the tires from impairable damage 
that that's why this particular system indicates the loss of pressure to a driver at an early stage so that he can take the appropriate action now this is the layout of tire pressure monitoring system wherein you are observing this particularly tire pressure sensor so this one two three four so four different tires active and that is having this particularly tire pressure sensor now here this is the stepney that is the reserve tire uh, reserve wheel so to that also we are observing that particularly tire pressure sensor that means this particularly system is having the five tire pressure sensors along with that you are having this particularly control unit so five pressure tire pressure sensors are there then for every wheel we are having the antenna so these are the antenna 1 2 3 and 4 so these are the four antennas for tire pressure monitoring so at central we are having this control unit for the tire pressure monitoring here on this uh, particularly instrument cluster display unit is there and we are having here the function selector switch so these are the specifically major components of the tire pressure check system and especially tire pressure sensor and how we can uh, that is uh, mount this on this wheel rim so this is the wheel rim we are having so this particularly outer that is the view of this tire pressure sensor if we explore this tire pressure sensor you will have this is a particularly tire wall metal body wall body this is the we ceiling ring this is particularly the wall insert here there is a plain washer this is the cap nut and this is the cap so this particularly tire pressure gets exploded and how this is being mounted on this particular wheel rim now if you go through the just a simple layout in the simple layout this is a particularly wheel on this wheel we are having the uh, particularly inside that particular tire on this wheel we are having the pressure sensor from this pressure sensor real time data will be transferred to this transfer link transmission link it may be that is rf that is radio frequency just we see that the, through this radio frequency we are giving the signal to the signal processor and from that signal processor through this controller we are giving the warning of the low tire pressure uh, to the driver which is situated on this dashboard unit so here on this dashboard unit you may find such type of this indication so this is the particular symbol which gives the tire pressure warning light if it blinks that indicates that the driver need to check the tire first and then he should move further for the journey so here tps warning lamp looks like this so this is the uh, warning lamp look like which uh, shows just like as a symbol for your tire and another one in many cars now you are observing directly the red out red out will give the at actual real time pressure in that particular respective wheel so here these two wheels are having the 33 psi pressure that is 33 pound per square inch this wheel also is having the 33 psi but this particularly wheel is having 24 psi that means out of four wheels this wheel is having the low pressure so if driver sees this particularly information he is supposed to stop that vehicle and he should check what happened here in that particularly tire and he need to repair this particularly go through that identify what happened in that particular tire get it correct tire pressure and then that uh, driver is supposed to start the journey now this is again one picture which shows the layout of this particular uh, tire pressure showing the main components that is technical components of this particular tire pressure system now tire pressure warning system here you are having for every feed that is the tire pressure warning system wall and transmitter for both these wheels that is the front left hand rear left hand this is the front Uh, that is particularly right hand this is the rear right hand so this is the right hand this is the front right hand this is the rear right hand this is the front left hand this is the rear left hand so every tire is having the wall and transmitter now after this every tire is having the antenna and receiver so this antenna and receiver here at one particular uh, that is particularly uh, bill issue 
and after this you are having this tire warning system which is there on that particular dashboard that is the tire warning light you are having which we are calling it as a combination meter and here you are in line with that you are also having the tire pressure warning system reset switch and here you will find this is a tire warning system ec electronic control so these are the major components now we will discuss the function of each and every component so first component is a combination meter the function of this combination meter is transmit the vehicle speed signal to the tire pressure warning system ecu for giving this vehicle speed correction now why this particularly vehicle speed uh, is required because this speed we can correlate with your tire pressure so another one important component is tire pressure warning light it turns out or blinks to warn the driver in accordance with the signal which is received from the tire pressure warning system and it displays the two digit dtc that is diagnostic trouble code which is the part and parcel of your onboard and offboard diagnostic system we are having the tire pressure warning system reset switch what is the function the appropriate air pressures of the tires currently mounted on the vehicle are stored in the tire pressure warning system ecu by operating the tire pressure warning system reset switch so we are setting that particularly pressures according to the manufacturer's recommendation because every manufacturer even two wheelers the manufacturer will recommend what is the recommended tire pressure in front wheel what is the recommendation of the tire pressure in rear wheel and generally if you observe uh, that particularly front wheels and rear wheels the values are given differently especially for two wheelers the value in the front wheel is very less whereas uh, rear wheels are supposed to be uh, having with the high air pressure tire air pressures because that particular rear wheels are supposed to uh, loaded by this uh, pillion rider so load acting on that particular rear side uh, rear wheel will be the maximum so that rear wheel tires generally are having the more tire pressure than your front wheels now another one it is wall and transmitter this wall and transmitter detect the inclination pressure and inertial temperature of the tire now one can say that what is why it is required to uh, get the information of the temperature because this temperature is very important because if the temperature is very high there is a possibility of bursting of the tire and in uh, basic laws we see that pressure and temperature are directly proportional if high pressure is there temperature will be very high so it this particular warning system wall and transmitter transmitter detects the inflation pressure and internal temperature and this measured value and id number is given it receives that particularly from the uh, antenna and the receiver now we are having another one very important that is antenna and receiver here we are uh, well, that is taking the help of your rf transmission radio frequency transmission so this particularly antenna and receiver receive the tire pressure warning system wall and transmitter signal and this particularly received signals this transmitter or that particularly antenna and receiver transmits the data to the tire pressure warning system ecu now heard of that system is ecu this ecu receives the data from the tire pressure warning system uh, antenna and receiver and monitors the tire pre inflation pressure and when this detects a drop in that tire pressure or a system malfunction its output will be given to the combination meter that is to the display that is display so this is again one system diagram which shows this particularly uh, layout of this low tire pressure warning system so here these are the four different tires where in every tire is having this system wall and transmitter this system wall and transmitter will receive that particularly with the help of this antenna and receiver it will receive the temperature and pressure of that particular tire air and this information is supplied to the ecu wherein this ecu will uh, check with the help of this earlier uh, recorded uh, manufacturer's recommendation and if malfunction or if he sees that there is a loss of air loss of pressure 
that it will be indicated in the driver scaling through this particularly warning light or some of the messages. So if you go through the uh, wall and transmitter, how this particularly, so this is the actual physical, uh, uh, that is picture which shows the physical uh, structure of this uh, EC that is wall. So this is the wall. This is particularly transmitter portion, which we are mounting on this particularly wheel. So this is the wheel tire. So this is the disc, disc wheel rim. And here you are having the tire pressure warning wall. And if you explore that, this is the sensor and transmitter portion. And this is the wall cap, nut and grommet. So if we see the warning, light a warning a wiring diagram so we are receiving this uh, electrical energy from the battery through this ignition switch and this we require for working of this particular ecu this ecu receives the signals from this warning antenna and receiver so through this and warning antenna and receiver the signal is given to this these signals will be uh, that is uh, checked with the help of this particularly manufacturer's recommendation and when it compares that data with the pre-programmed data here in the ECU, it will use the signals through this combination meter and this display which is displayed in the driver's that is a dashboard unit or instrument panel IP wherein it will display the warning of this tire pressure. Now this is again uh, some of the pictures which shows the major component. So here this is the transceivers and this is particularly the receiver and sensor. This is the particularly the wheel on which we are having this uh, particularly sensor. This sensor senses this particularly tire pressure and temperature. That signal is given to this antenna as like this particularly radio frequency. This antenna then whatever received this will gives this information to the ecu and from that ecu this will be given the information to this dashboard unit so this is the tire pressure sensor mounted on the wall stem so this is actually the pressure sensor this is the grommet and this is the wall stem and here on the uh, tire side walls in many vehicles, we are fitting in the tire wide or wide sidewall itself the antenna. And here, this is the tire pressure sensor retention nut. This is the wall cap. This is the wall core. And this particular, it is a grommet. Now, this is the uh, exploded view of the tire pressure sensor, wherein you are having this particular leaf sensor, total sensor assembly. Here there is a metal washer. This is the sensor to wheel seal. This particularly here it is a wheel on which you are mounting this. This is the wall stem nut with a pressed in washer and this particular it is a wall stem cap. So how we are mounting? This is the wheel disc. On that wheel disc here you are mounting this particularly typical uh, tire pressure TPM sensor. sensor. We are calling this in technical words that is the TPM sensor, tire pressure monitoring sensor. And this will physically look like this, tire pressure sensor. Now there are two types of the TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system, indirect TPMS and direct TPMS. In indirect TPMS, we are not uh, mounting any tire sensor, tire pressure sensor. So this tire pressure, is measured uh, with respect to the rate of wheel resolution. And they, that particularly speed of this wheel is, uh, it is connected with the, what is the air pressure inside the tire. So we are making the relation between tire pressure and your speed. If the speed is very high, the tire pressure may shows the increase. If the speed is very less, that will indicate the low tire pressure. Likewise, we are relating this uh, tire pressure with the wheel rotation. So this may be inaccurate if we are fitting the new tire and of different sizes. Typically, this particularly uh, type is very 
less expensive because we are not utilizing any separate sensor here and it is required to reset after every tire rotation when for during the maintenance when you are going for replacing the tire or rotating the tire this particularly uh, tire pressure must be reset for every tire rotation now what are the advantages it is relatively inexpensive compared to direct requires less programming maintenance over the years because we here less programming means we are not going to correlate with your earlier pre-programmed data or likewise here directly we are only correlating the pressure with respect to your rotation of the wheel less overall installation maintenance than its direct counterpart and disadvantages may become inaccurate if you purchase a bigger or smaller tire because this bigger and uh, as the size size gets change the velocity of that particular or speed of that particular tire changes this may be unreliable when tires are only evenly worn this is also because what is the condition of that tire that will also affect on this particular measurement must be reset after properly inflating tire every time and must be reset after routing tire rotation so these are the some of the disadvantages and advantages of indirect tpms in case of direct tpms which we discussed earlier where you are getting actual tire pressure reading with the help of this tire pressure sensor and every wheel is fitted with such type of the pressure sensors which measures the air uh, pressure of this air within each this is more accurate than your earlier indirect tpms battery lasts about a decade here we are connecting this battery only for that particular ec tpms ecu so battery life we gets increased no need to reset after rotation and inflation because we are not uh, uh, correlating that particular tire pressure with your rotation we are actually directly measuring the tire pressure so what are the advantages so it delivers actual tire pressure readings from inside the tire it does not prone to inaccuracies because of the tire rotation or tire replacement simple resynchronization after tire rotation or tire replacement is essential batteries inside the sensor usually last for about a decade because it is only going to be used for tire ecm tpms ecm may be included in a vehicle's spare tire because in earlier one of the slide we seen that is on the spare wheels also we required to have the fitment of tire pressure sensor so disadvantage it is expensive than your indirect because here we are using additional tire pressure sensor those simple resynchronization may require costly tools battery rarely serviceable if the battery is drained then whole sensor must be changed proprietary systems like installation service and replacement confusing for consumers and auto shops because specifically that particular manufacturer or the vendor is required to ask for installation and service because these are the proprietary items sensors are susceptible to damage during mounting and demounting now we will see the some of the tpms examples of this tpms this is one example we shows this particularly typical car in that car the wheel which is shown here on this wheel here you are observing this particularly the sensor this sensor is having this particularly antenna and transmitter with the help of this wireless low frequency about 125 kilohertz that is radio frequency this transmits this and here there is a receiver there will be the wired or maybe wireless so here this receiver that is the ecu here that is initiator uh, so this ecu will uh, uh, that is correlate whatever real time data you are getting here with compare it with the installed programmed data and after that it will gives this particular information to the driver scheming so here there is a schematic given so from the battery you are getting this from the ignition switch here you are observing this particularly the transmitter and this is the 
wireless uh, receiver antenna and receiver so if you are having this wireless radio frequency the uh, normally it is 315 or 433 or 868 kilohertz frequency uh, of that particularly tire pressure signals are there so another one example of this tpms is which shows the various registers which we are utilizing in this particularly uh, tpms responding to the signal detected by its resonant circuit a tire side tpms backup circuit can send the reset to this tpm circuit um, which uh, enables signal using a signal transmitter switched by analog so i have taken this particularly circuit diagram from the magazine integrate integrated product so here there is a coil from this antenna from that we are having this particularly capacitor which is having up to 20 pico faraday so here we are observing so many different registers of various uh, values that is 2.2 mega ohm 4.7 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm 100 kilo ohm and here this is just a switch that is a, a gate wherein you are having this gate in and gate out so here we are utilizing the transistor this transistor and gate we are connecting with so many different other registers as well as this various capacitors and we are getting to operate this the electrical energy from this battery so this is all about the tire pressure monitoring system so in this lecture we discussed about why it is important to know the dynamic condition dynamic values of the actual uh, pressure of the air inside the uh, every wheel tire and how it leads to the safety of this vehicle and how what are the different components of this TPMS tire pressure monitoring system along with that also we seen what are the different types of the TPMS that is tire pressure monitoring system direct and in, uh, indirect along with their uh, advantages and disadvantages and lastly we discussed the two examples which describes the actual components and actual circuitry diagram of the TPMS. So I hope you understand understood this particularly TPMS well. So I thanks for viewing this particular lecture on low tire pressure warning system. So here we will stop.